Have you ever messed up a non-stick pan before? I have. In this video, we're gonna show you how to properly season a non-stick pan. Let's go. What's up everyone? Welcome back to Team Kello What? Where we show you what we got. And today we got a great video. So a couple of years ago, I bought this amazing set. It cost me about $500. And now it costs nothing. Absolutely nothing. It messed it up. So today we're actually going to show you how to properly season one of this so you don't make the same mistake Alex did. I never realized that when you get some of these pans that have a non-stick surface, you are supposed to season a pan. So seasoning a pan is basically allowing the pan to get a coating so that when you start cooking, items just don't stick to it, like chicken, eggs, things like that. And over time, the more you season the pan, the more non-stick surface resilience it builds when you're uh, cooking. I mean, what do you want? You want these pans are usually expensive, so you want them to last longer. So before we go on to the video and show you how to season these pans, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. All right, let's do this. Let's go. All right, so here we are in the Kelowa kitchen. Depending on what you use, whether it's a cast iron or something like that, follow the instructions. So you rinse it out with a little bit of water and soap. They're usually chemicals when it comes with the pans, yeah. but then you wash them out first before you actually season it. Yeah. After that, dry it out. And so basically, you want to take the stove, you want to heat it up, follow the instructions on the manuals, whatever they say. Normally, this one says you should do it from medium to high heat. So we're gonna key word here up. is follow the instructions because I didn't follow the instructions follow the first instructions. time, so that really messed it up. So what oils are we gonna use to season the pan today? You can use any type of oil as long as it's high retention, meaning it can take a lot of heat. So in this case, I do have olive oil and I also have grape seed oil. Both of these is not going to generate too much smoke in the house. So if you use like maybe a corn oil, that might be most likely generate a lot of heat. You just need about two tablespoons of oil. And what you want to do is completely cover the surface of the pan so that it takes a coating and it seasons it. So the next thing you would do is you will put the pan on the stove and let it heat up for about 30 seconds to a minute. About a minute. You want to make sure you just place your hand over it when you feel the heat there. That's basically letting you know that the pan is ready to be seasoned. We're almost there. This particular pan, the Hex Clap Pan, is awesome. You want to check out that video. We do have a review right here. So don't forget to check out that video. We put this thing to the test. That was yes. a fun video. Yes, I really, really enjoy that. So we're gonna take the olive oil and we're gonna use just about two tablespoons, just a little bit like that. Once it's ready and it's ready, you're going to take the oil, just drop it in. And basically, you can swirl it around. Once you swirl around, you can take, great, good job. <laughs> good job there, buddy. Um, once you swirl it around, you want to make sure you take the cloth. In this case, I'm going to use tongs because I want to make sure that I don't get burnt. Yes. You can also see that in the last video. Where I got burned. Yes. You want to cover the entire surface all around. You notice that there's no excess oil. Basically, by the time that you completely cover the pan, you should have no oil whatsoever. You want to put it back in the in the you heat can for put it back in the 20, heat. 30 seconds? Yeah, for a couple of seconds. And then all you need to do is take it up the heat, let it cool down. You may want to repeat the process as many times as they recommend. Some companies recommend up to five, six, seven times. And you'll notice that things don't stick. That's the point of seasoning your pan. Great. So hopefully you really like this video and you take advantage of how to season the pan. Once your pan is cooled, you can now start using it and remember to always season it as the manufacturer recommends. Some of them have, like I mentioned, seven, eight times I've seen them. Just follow the instructions so that this does not happen to you. If you want to get more information about how to use these pans and the demo that we did before, click right here. Click on the video right here. Did you do it? Click it. All right, everyone, hopefully you love this video because we put a lot of heart into it. That's right. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know. So we'll see you on the next one. I got to go because I got to make some eggs. So Let's go get some food. Team, Team Kello, Kello what? what?